Greetings all, it is I, Sam Farron, and welcome back to Let's Translate Trails at Dawn 2, Crimson Sin. Oh, I guess my voice hasn't gotten any better, god damn it. I do feel better today though, like my throat's not as annoying. My nose is a bit fucked. Also, I don't know, has this happened in like all the areas? Like if you, if you put the camera at a certain angle, does Van just disappear? I remember, anyway. Why is Anya's in the party? She's not going to be very useful for these uh, regular fights. Let's get uh, Aaron back in here too. Actually, let's get Zane in as well. Oh god, I, I think I sound even worse than I did yesterday. God damn. Well, I don't, I don't feel as bad. It doesn't hurt to talk as much, so... Should be fine. Let's do uh, floor 16 this time. Apparently this goes up to level 90. God damn. And, uh... Yeah, let's just choose the easier ones of uh, these. Oh wait, I think this, is this a new, are they done reusing assets? Wait, no, I guess this is just kind of like the hollow garden. I think the music's different too, actually. Who the hell are these guys? <coughs> oh God. I see one of these guys. These enemies are not very fun to deal with. Oh, and there's two of them as well. Perfect. Wait, they are the ones I'm thinking of, right? Yeah, they do the double attack. Yeah. You have to, like, dodge them twice. It's annoying. But anyway, I've been meaning to say this for a while now, actually. Like, what do you, uh... I don't know if, like, because obviously when uh, the new Yeez game comes out, I'm obviously going to do that. Unless something very unexpected happens. But, uh, between then, there's going to be, like, fucking, like, ten months or something when I'm just not uploading or doing anything, really. So, I was meaning to ask you guys if there are any games you'd want to see. Like, translation-wise, because, like, there might be... I feel like there might be something that I'm like just not thinking of that would be cool to do. So like if you guys have any suggestions, leave them in the comments and like, I don't know, there's a chance that I might not end up doing it. Or rather that's like the more likely one, like I'm probably not gonna do it, but like there might be something that one of you guys uh, mentions that I wasn't thinking of and it like, like that would be cool to do. For like a series or something, I don't know. I do have a few ideas for like series to do aside from my translations, but... Yeah, it's still gonna mostly be like... My channel going back into like hibernation pretty much. After this is over. Oh my god, I feel like it's getting to the point where straight up that is just like you do these fights in our active battles because like these guys would be annoying to dodge with their like AoE or like, their charge attack, I mean. Uh, let's see what this does, I guess. Oh, it's just Silver Thorn, or Argent Thorn as it's called in this game. Wow, did I just one-shot that fucking butterfly guy with Gust Van's uh, thingy craft? Pretty high. Wow, nearly a full level up gain from that, and I got a, a brilliant offense and defense, is what that says. Something similar to that. It's one of those weird Japanese words, but there's like not really a word for it in uh, English. You can just like translate. There's a lot of that, but I do feel like I have been getting better at it. Oh, one of these guys too. Yeah, I do feel like I have been getting better at translating such words. I feel like I haven't actually watched, like, honestly, like, probably like a year ago or something, I did watch some of my, uh, Yeez 
nine videos, and I was fucking appalled by how how bad I was at translating back then. And also, like, just the editing was scuffed as well. Like, the audio balancing was horrible. But goddamn, I was like, yeah, but I do feel like I've gotten so much better at like, all things to do with this. I'm amazed that anyone put up with uh, my Yeez 9 1, to be honest. Oh, that was close. Yeah, it's weird. Before Yeez 9, I was doing like. I probably told this story before, but I was doing like. Uh, <laughs> these silly autistic uh, Smash Machinimas. And they were very uh, autistic. Let me just say that. Like, I was. I was probably like 18, 19 when I was doing those. But I swear the humor was like. You think I was like 14 with how like bad the humor was. But I wasn't, I was like way older. So it was just a little bit silly. And I think I had like a hundred subscribers from that, because like there are a few people that like uh like Smash for Shinemas, but not very many. Not as many as back in the day. Because like on the internet I kind of I wanted like my first kind of experiences on like, YouTube and stuff. Was watching there was this one called uh, Wolf's Retarded Mission. It was like a really old Smash for Cinema with like really immature humor, and I thought it was the funniest thing ever. And to be fair, it's, it's, I still probably would find it pretty funny. And that's kind of what inspired me to make mine. There were there were like other ones as well. But that style is definitely what inspired me. Yeah, I, I got like a hundred subscribers from that, and I was like, I was kind of involved in the community there. And then I kind of like stopped. And then uh, Yeez 9 was coming out and I was like, I don't know, I'll do like a let's play of that or something. And like try and translate everything I can. And that was kind of like the idea for it. I don't know if uh, let's translate. I don't know if that's something that I've kind of like, but I'm, there, there must have been someone that's done something called that before. It's pretty fucking, like, it's, it's not, it doesn't take, like, genius to figure out. It's, it's basically just a let's play. You replace play with translate. It's not rocket science, you know. Oh my god, that does a lot of damage now. Damn, dude. But yeah, I really like doing uh, these left translates. I'm, I'm glad that I. Uh... Well, I mean, it wasn't even my idea. Well, I mean, it, it kind of. Well, I don't know. I, I didn't see anyone doing it like this. But I, I mentioned this, I think, back in uh, Yeez, Yeez Nine. The reason I uh, like the idea, I well, like the way, I, the place I got the idea from was I saw this guy. And he was doing like live streams of I think it was Tokyo Xanadu when that game came out. And that was before I understood any Japanese and he was like, he did understand Japanese. And he was live streaming it and like watching the cutscenes and then being like, hmm, okay, so these guys are saying this and then uh, this character's like, yeah. He wasn't doing the same thing I do where I just translate every single line. But it was kind of similar and that's where I got the idea. I think that's probably what I was planning to do with my one originally, just kind of like... Just not translate everything, everything, but just kind of give like an overview of what's being said in the cutscenes. But then, of course, I ended up uh, doing it like this, and I think it works because there's still like plenty of freedom. Like honestly, doing this series kind of uh, made me realize that I don't want to be a translator. But that being said, I still like have a lot of fun uh doing these just like i feel like if i was doing like an actual translation i wouldn't have like the amount of freedom that i have doing this like if i was actually translating one of these games and also i'd probably have to move to america if i wanted to be like a proper translator and translate these kind of games and that just sounds like the last thing i'd ever want to do so yeah <laughs> definitely i uh, don't want to move to america I just remember going to America when I was like 11, I think, and uh, not liking it. <laughs> I mean, it is one hell of a country, I'll say that, but yeah, definitely don't want to move there and work there. But honestly, yeah, 
I think the biggest reason is I just hated the food there. I mean, some of it was all right. Like, like I was with my family, obviously. And like, you go to like restaurants and stuff. Some of that was okay. But I swear to God, dude, the bread. It didn't taste like bread. It tasted like something else. It's so sugary and gross. That wasn't crusty at all. No, how the fuck anyone could eat that shit. It's horrible. And I think honestly, the probably the biggest reason I want to go live in Japan is just because the food's better. Like, honestly, like I'm I'm eating like shit right now. I just go to Aldi and buy whatever's like cheapest. That's pretty much uh, how I live. And then sometimes, like people are going to KFC or something like at lunchtime uh, at uni, I'll like go with them and get something. I don't like KFC either though. I like Subway. Subway's pretty good. Oh, well, we got rat. What the f <laughs> Look at the way they move. What the fuck? <laughs> An intern definitely designed these enemies. What the fuck? Guys look dumb as hell. <laughs> well, I say, uh, I've already forgot. Oh, yeah, the food in Japan. I don't know if that's actually what I was talking about still, but I want to talk about it, so fuck it. God damn. The fast food there, it's just, it tastes good, it's healthy, and it's cheap. I swear to God, this place I always used to go to was like cheaper than McDonald's. Like, I went to McDonald's and I paid like more money than I would for like a, a meal at like... Or it wasn't just one restaurant either, it was like multiple, there were like multiple fast food places that I used to go to. And like the thing I got from McDonald's this one time was like way fucking less filling, it wasn't as good. And it was more expensive. I was like, what the fuck? I thought the whole thing with McDonald's was, was it was gonna be cheap. I just don't like McDonald's anyway. I, I don't know how people can eat that like... Like multiple times a week. It makes no fucking sense to me. And yeah, like, the thing is, like, I can, I can kind of cook. A little bit. I can't cook in this place because I don't have an oven. I mean, I I sometimes do like stir fries and stuff. I'm just too lazy. Like, why cook things when I could just buy a ready meal burger from Aldi? And eat that instead. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. But look how big these things' boobs are. Nearly as big as reaches, goddamn, I'm getting horny over an enemy. Regular ass enemy with discs. Never thought I'd see the day. Oh, there's a bunch of rats too. Oh, dude, this is my favorite scenario. Check this out. I mean, I've probably done this like 800 times before, but okay. Boom. Do it. All right, chain starts at 8. Boom, 16. Do, 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 do. Ends at 60. And that hits all of them, yep. What? Oh my god, I just realized there were so many enemies in that fight that they couldn't all fit. <clears throat> I didn't even notice, like... I, I realized afterwards I was fighting this guy, and then... No SBC in the battle. Oh damn, she's not so good at dealing with hordes of enemies. <laughs> And you're gonna get fucking Silver Gailed. Fools. God damn. This combat system is so good. It just works, dude. I feel like, even though I mentioned it a bunch of times now, I haven't praised it enough. And I can't tell if it was like this in the first game and I just didn't notice. I, mean, I feel like there were never that many enemies that made you fight at a time in the first game, so maybe that's why I never noticed. Maybe it's just enemies were harder to stun. <clears throat> but actually, no, no, like, like stunning enemies was just like pretty pointless in the first game, or it just didn't exist, I can't remember. So I'm pretty sure it did exist, it just was pointless. I never did it. But, like, you'd stun a boss and then they'd just get a turn and like recover from it immediately. And like that wasn't chain boosting or chain uh thingies like, like those combo things. It just wasn't as good. 
Yeah, the, the combat system for this game just works really well when dealing with uh, regular guys. I do wish that they uh, <clears throat> that they had more stuff like the final boss, where it forces you into command battle or into active battle. I think that was a really cool thing. I wish they did that with more than more bosses than just that guy. Oh, fuck me. Okay, good. It's just small guys. Okay, it's just nine of them rather than like 12. Oh, these guys have like no health. <laughs> fuck is that? He just shoots out like some weird, uh, mini like galaxy thing doesn't even elaborate god damn i'm already nearly level 90 yeah. ren's little stone fuck off i don't want to deal with the uh, big guys yeah here we go I only want to deal with small fry. Maybe I should change the battle music at some point, but I just don't want to. I just like this song so much. Alright, there we go. That one went by pretty quickly. I'm, I probably missed an enemy somewhere, but oh well. Wait, those guys are alive? Or oh, whatever. That is definitely getting annoying when I keep doing that. That's uh, good there. Now for the big old boss, what? Oh shit! Dude! We finally have story, let's go! Or at least I think that's what this means. We're probably gonna have a cutscene finally, let's go! Uh, is there no monster here? This is... A rift in the, like, uh, virtual dimension? This is definitely strange. It could be that this is, uh, the point of the encroachment. So that means that if we go through here, we'll, uh, find out what's responsible for this, huh? Yeah, we should make sure we're prepared for what's ahead. Uh, let's, uh, call out to our members on standby, too. Wait, is this... Wait, am I about to fight the post-game final boss? <laughs> If you, oh, okay, it is. Wait, well, it says if you enter this area, you'll be uh, fighting the final trial boss, whatever that means. So make sure you're prepared. Fuck it, yeah. Dude, I didn't, is this actually the finale? Or is this like, is it the final like trial boss of this kind of area and then we go on to something else kind of thing, I don't know. Oh shit. Is this like a rift in the, the virtual space? Yes, these coordinates, uh, it's definitely it. This is the place where the encroachment's coming from. But this aura, it feels like I'm being crushed. There's something hiding here. Something of incredible, like, density. So this is what's responsible for it? I can't, like, even tell what it is. 
Yeah, this guy is definitely different to everything we fought up till now. But what is this? The, sens the sensation? The smell? No, this is... Oh, this is new. I don't think they showed that, uh... That, uh, thing before, that, like, little, uh, illustration. It's coming, everyone, be careful! Oh, shit. Oh, it's not him then. Oh, wait, it is? What? What? This form? It's just like what we saw back then. Is it another demon lord? I see that, uh, demon lord that, uh, appeared during the pandemonium last year. One of the five that, uh, rules over the 77 demons. The wandering demon lord, like, Vagrant's uh, Zion, or like something that looks like that at least. Wait, that can't be though, and it wasn't this color, was it? Yes, it's like the opposite to that, uh, like black and blue, uh, one we fought, but... Don't tell me, is this another one of the demon lords? I guess it is. ああ。そしてここまで来た以上、こいつを倒して異変を収めるまでだ。偽りがどうだのと、人の裏事情について好き勝手言ってくれやがって。だが文句は打ち止めした後だ。行くぞ、お前ら。総員戦闘準備。I cannot tell what he's saying. <clears throat> we can use take the Grendel, makes sense. Oh my god. Alright, uh... <laughs> I was not expecting this. I didn't think I'd be filming the finale today. At least I, I assume this is. Yeah. Go for a cheeky, uh, this is the new Sam Perrin combo. Ooh, and a crit turn next, I like that. I do jive with that. You know, let's get a fee in here, she's gonna be more useful I reckon. Oh, this fight was hard in the first game there. Hopefully he doesn't do the same bullshit that, uh, the guy from the first game does. I'm just saying. Hmm. You know what, I might just use this crit turn.
Wow, look at that damage. Yeah, I wanted to get my S boost uh, <coughs> up there. Van is so freaking quick when he's uh, the Grendel, when he's Grendelized. Let's do this and hope Van protects uh, he's one of us here. Oh, he's summoning. Yeah, I forgot he did that. That's part of what made the original fight hard. <laughs> No, if we're gonna get another boost turn, then fuck it. Try and do as much damage to these guys as I can. That's not that much damage, though, bro. Mm, I don't like how we're all completely next to each other. <laughs> Not bad. Oh god, I don't know what that guy's doing. I don't like it there. Might just try and finish off these guys, to be completely honest with you. Do it. Oh, not bad. Oh, we can at least stagger one of them there. Be good. So we are what he That should be big damage. Boom, there we go. One of them down, pretty much. Uh -oh. Wait, what is this? Oh shit. I, I think this might be able to instant death. Okay, well, it didn't, so that's good. I think I can S-Craft with Van next turn as well. Yeah, we can stagger this fool. Yeah, we can hit all of them with this. And I guess do that. But I can't believe I never used that attack. Uh... Just because it cost EP, so I was like, oh, it's magic, it's gonna suck, but then actually it's fucking... Oh, I didn't steal his crit turn, fuck me. Oh, well. We're gonna stagger him anyway. Yeah, that's what a real demon lord looks like. God, I love Ice Craft so much. Look at how much damage we've done to him. Oh, he, he put fear on us. He done scared us. At least I got really lucky with all the S boost turns, so I've got uh, plenty of shit to work with here. And I upgraded this. Delayed Fencer. Yeah, look at that damage. And, uh, yep. A bit of this. Sucks with this boss because he can't get behind him. We could do stuff to the side of him if we wanted, but... I haven't really got my guys set up that way, so fuck it. Oh, we're already boosted. Let's go. Oh wait, he's not staggered anymore. Three. Uh oh, he's summoning again. Fuck you, man. That's just annoying. 
Did the other ones summon this much? Bruh. Can I hit all three of them? Why does he have to summon them so fucking far away from each other too? Okay, oh, yeah, let's do that. Oh, I don't like how they're casting that. Oh, that's quick. Might lose someone here. That's a skeleton one again. Oh, great. Two of my guys are scared. Come on, hit Van. This is suddenly not looking good. At least Fee's like... Like, is she seriously just invincible when she's stealthed? That is overpowered as hell. Van doesn't even have his, uh... Well, I'm gonna heal Van, actually. Yeah, let's uh, use one of these. Oh, she's stealth as well. Okay, good. Van can uh, grendalize next turn. By the way, I know that's not the official name for it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not going to be in English, but... Just what I'd be calling it. Yeah, he has like a separate EP gauge for when he's grendled. Kind of nice. Ooh, can I hit both of them with this? I can do this and then... uh. I hit both of them, uh... Bro. Fucking what? Let me target. I don't switch target, what the fuck? This is fucking weird. Oh, let's go. I'll see what Fee can do on her turn before I decide uh, if I S-Craft or not. I mean, I will be able to stagger both of them. Yeah, just make sure that you're uh, stealth, I guess. And I'm gonna steal that, uh... Yeah, that is a-okay. Never mind, I can't hit all three of them here. What about... Three... Blue. And that guy's staggered anyway. There's not really any point in attacking him. I'll get. I might regret this, but it's not like I can hit all of them anyway. Cheeky 50,000 damage there. More? Oh my days. What the freak? Might just be better to try and kill him first. Like, because these guys have so much health. But I don't have, like, s crafts that really hit there. Like, hit the whole screen like that. She's in those, but... And I got more boost than I know what to do with as well. I guess to try and re revive a lane for now. As long as he's attacking Van, I don't really care because he's just giving Van more and more CP. Oh, that can probably instant death. Doesn't matter there. That's bad. All right, let's see what we can do about this. Can get off two more of these, which is good. Oh, I see. It's because I did the hate thing. That's why I've got a. Uh, that's why everyone's attacking him. Let me just 
find out if I can hit all of them. I'm close. There we go. Then I think I'm just gonna S break again with Van on the next turn. Go for a Vandalize raid this time. God, look at that chain. Overkilled something there. Okay, this is a fucking target in one. That one's paralyzed at least. I don't know what it's what's best to do here. Hmm. I mean, Van's probably gonna die anyway. I won't be able to kill this guy even if I. Yeah, fuck it. I've got Zeran powders, I'll just use one of them. I want to make use of this 41 chain, to be honest. As long as we don't, like, wipe out, like, our party, then I should be able to be fine. But I'll be able to revive Van. Hey, Gertelines, live in. Yeah, we are gonna just, uh, wow, I have nine of these things. I didn't realize I had that many. Yeah, Zerum powder for you, Van Arkride. That is a bit annoying. We are probably gonna lose everyone except for Van here. Oh, actually, no, Fee's are still... She's still on her shit. That's pretty good. Yeah, fuck it, I guess. Get some uh, more stun damage on this guy. I should have boosted, actually. I got nine of those damn things. Okay, just gotta live two attacks, Van, okay? One more. Okay, good. There we go. Right, yeah, we are just gonna finish this right here and now. Not that. Boom. Boom. Why is it auto locking onto these guys? Okay, I guess that's fine. Wow. And yeah, this will finish it. And even if there is a phase two, I got Zerum powder, so we're good. Shit. The hell is he talking about? Tamevatadanosigan 
オーギュストの野郎に利用されていたそいつはま待ってくださいまさかそれってああここまで来りゃ間違いねえだろあの化け物の正体そいつはかつて DG 教団が教会から盗み出し利用してやがったゲテンエゼルキその写本なのでしょうエゼルキそうか確かバンさんの魔王について書かれていてあのパンデモニウム化についても記されている狂気の禁書らしいけどそうそして俺は教団にとらわれていた頃毎日のようにそいつを読まされていた<音楽>この馴染みのありすぎる匂い間違えるはずもねえそうだったのねあ,あ,あまさかここに来て教団につながるとじゃじゃああの魔王ってその金書とやらをオーギュストが利用しこのおとぎの提示をハッキングしたのだろうまさに MK のシステムを狂わせるにはうってつけの情報構成体だったわけだその後暴走したってところかなあの様子を見てる限りええ当たってるわメアコ出てこねえと思ったらもしかしてあいつが偽物だからあれは単なる情報の再現その程度の存在でしかないわ写本という時点で相当劣化しているし目的のために都合よく書き換えられてもいるでもあれの自我ではその事実を認めることすらできないでしょうねかわいそうだけどそっかあれだけの力を持っていても中身は空っぽだったのねそう思うと確かに哀れだな因果が話したかであれば私たちの手で終わらせてやるのが筋だろうねああおのれおのれおのれ愛称なる人の子が我を語る理不せよ破滅せよ絶望せよ我が魔王我が絶対者今こそ現世に権限し最悪をもたらさんお前も犠牲者なのかもしれないだがだからこそここで蹴りをつける全てのやり残しを終わらせるためにもなうん DG の悪夢を断ち切るためにもこれで最後です行きましょう皆さんわっ、おまいがー、いつもの顔。いつもの顔。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。Ugh. Might take a few attempts. <laughs> What do I do first? I guess. Maybe he'll、uh, reset a bit. Actually, maybe I'll just give her a Zerum powder. So she can put on our cheeky、uh, buffs. Hmm. I think I'll still keep Thea around for sure, but uh. Let's see here.
Yeah, you're getting the hell out of here. And why not? You can, uh... Actually, yeah, let's, let's do this and then, uh... S crop, just to boost our S boost a bit. We'll probably do like no damage. But yeah, okay, it's not a screen nuke, I was right. Oh, never mind, that, that did some damage. Not bad. We're definitely gonna be into the long haul here, though. Nearly a million HP. And he's stealing uh, DP from us too. Okay. Hmm. I guess I'll just hold out until we get max CP with Van. Pretty much been my only strategy anyway. Yeah, let's let's see how much this does. Not bad. Lowered his movement. It's huge, because he's probably going to try and be moving around a lot. Just kidding. Uh, I can't heal in time. Fuck yeah. Yeah, this guy's... This guy's a threat. Definitely. Hmm. You know what? There is it. Is that the most I've got? I think that's enough. I can at least heal a uh, van there. Okay. Oh, this is scary. Oh, great. He's already s in, is he? The point! Yeah, this is the same one that the one in the first game you used. Ah, and it killed everyone. Yep. I think I might have to retry here. Dude, look. <laughs> so, yeah, when you're stealth, you're literally invincible. Look at that. That's insane. I had no idea stealth was that good. I feel like it wasn't always this good, though. Oh. God, you get so many turns. Yeah, this guy's hard. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> so, basically, I took a bit of a break. I was going to go back and uh, redo my equipment, but then I realized that if I did that, I'd have to go through the fucking like 17th stratum all over again, and I was like, screw it. So I, I basically leveled up once, so now I'm level 90, and I don't think it's really gonna make much of a difference. But I redid the first phase too, and now we're looking in much better shape. Except Anya, she's nearly dead, but she'll be able to maybe come in and uh, use her ass craft on everyone, so her, her HP doesn't really matter that much. Anyway, uh, so last time, well, I think he used some, like, insane S-Craft on us. I think my strategy here is basically use a bunch of these on Van and just get the Grendel going. Also, have Fee be, uh, invincible all the time. Because apparently there's nothing he can do about that, so... I guess let's get going. Good thing Fee's got a turn already, so... Nice. Uh, something weird, I, I don't know what triggers this, but sometimes when Van Grendelizes, he starts with 150 CP rather than 100. I don't know if that's just him getting a CP turn or not, but like it always seems to be... Well, it's 165 for me because he has that piece of equipment, but... Yeah, so... Okay, I guess just the standard Sam Farron combo. This guy has a lot of health, but... I think we can do a, a lot about it. I mean, like, what? How many, uh, like, 16 more of those, and he's probably gonna go down. 
I don't know, mass isn't my real my strong point. Let's just uh, become invisible here. And with this, even if Van dies, as long as Fee is invisible. Oh, fuck's sake. As long as Van is invisible, I will be able to survive. Actually, yeah, I, I saved Aaron. I was kind of conserving him for the second phase. I figured he could, he could maybe help out with the damage a lot. Uh, she got a HP turn there, but it wasn't really much. Oh, fuck's sake. He can't even cast. God damn it, dude. I mean, I can put up a shield. Yeah, the, his first phase is really annoying. He just summons fucking guys over and over again. It's really a pain. I guess let's do this. Temporary solution. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna ask Croft a ban. I'm gonna steal Aaron's CP turns and do it. The more we can spam Radiant Glow, the better. Yeah, if, if this is like the final boss of the first game, then he shouldn't summon dudes in the second phase. I'm pretty sure... Wait, did he actually? I can't remember. I remember it was still hard, the second phase, even with the Grendel in that game, but... Damn, look at that. And, uh... Yeah, I know he likes to use that S-Craft, too, so... Can I heal with Aaron? I don't think I... Did I give him... Yeah, I did, but he's not gonna get it off in time. Damn it, I wish I didn't have the memory of a goldfish. Because otherwise I'd be able to remember what exactly he did the first time. Hmm. And I want to protect Rosette, but... Hmm. Yeah, fuck it. If he just S-crafts right away, he is. God damn it. Wait, no, he's not. Ooh. That's, that's annoying though, that status. Yeah, so he's probably gonna do it now. He's gonna be able to avoid it because she's invisible. Uh, I'm pretty sure it killed Van from nearly full health. Bro. I'm gonna have Van do that. Maybe defending would have been better, I don't know. I think it was like, it was either the second or third turn that he did his uh, s craft, I think. Might be able to paralyze his bitch ass, maybe not. This raises his defense, so I might as well go for a bit of this. Uh, I, I don't remember this. Oh, yeah, the final boss of the first game did that. He puts up a silly little shield. But he hasn't. For some reason, he hasn't gone for his silly uh, thing yet. Wait, I, I, there's no point Grendling uh, here. Yeah, it's gonna reflect it, probably. Oh, no. Oh, he heals too? Oh, that's good, though. I don't like this. I don't know when he's gonna go for his... Uh, his massive fucking S-Craft. Why can I not attack him? Here we go. Ugh, why'd they make this guy heal? I guess just get rid of that then. Yeah, he still has that attack. I want to heal Van, but I want Fee to be invisible. Okay, I'm, I'm healing Van. 
God, is this just like RNG? Do I just have to get lucky? Yeah, that's fine. I, I buffed Zane and now I'm just gonna get him out of here. I don't know why the fuck I did that. I could all cancel him with Rosette, but I think I'd rather just heal. He's, his, his buff's gonna run out this turn anyway. Oh, damn it all. He fucking waited for me to bring in Rosette. God, they made a whole point about this guy being weaker than Van's Demon Lord, but... In terms of gameplay, he's definitely not. This is definitely the hardest boss in the game, I reckon, just from what I've seen so far. The fact that he heals on top of all that, too. Jesus, it just kills Van from full. Alright, fine. Uh, like, in that case, there's, uh... There's nothing more that can be done. We're not messing around anymore. Let's just fucking go all out. I might as well. That there, there's no way there's gonna be a third phase, is there? Like seriously? Damn, I wish I could protect Aaron. I might be able to if I stand here. I don't really want to stagger him quite yet. Might as well lower his attack. It might stagger him anyway, because those numbers often lie. Okay, good, it didn't. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Protect Aaron Way. Wait, yeah, I can ask Croft with Anyez. I've got zero arts as well. Not really much point in using anything, though, against this. Didn't steal Van's crit turn either, which is nice. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. <laughs> oh well. At least everyone will get a turn now. Yeah, I need Fee to... Actually, you use a Zerum Powder... ...on yourself. Yeah, I'm gonna completely waste this stun. Yeah, he's already back, I think. Yeah, that sucked. I should not have gone for that spell. I wasn't thinking there. Yeah, you can still uh, paralyze him, it looks like. Might as well try. And hopefully there's... I mean, there should be a limit to how many times he can heal. It's probably going to be like two or three times. So. If I think about it as him just having like a million HP instead of 800,000... I don't know, I, I wish they would have just given him like a million HP in that case and just not made him heal. Just made him like regular buff. I think that would have been so much cooler. Just having like the final post-game boss just have a million HP. I think that's just cooler than, than him just uh, having a fake HP bar. Fuck it. Just go for big damage. I really need Fee to get a turn, though, in case he s crafts again. I don't think he will, though. It's not for a while. What the fuck? Zane's dead already. What the hell? God, he does so much damage. This guy's fucking nuts. Can I, uh, heal with Van in time? No, he's, he stole my EP anyway. I mean, Anya's surviving doesn't really matter. I just want her to kind of get out of here. You know, you f you can heal yourself then, man. Just as long as Fee survives, I think it should be fine. Yeah, that's fine too. Right, Fee, become invincible again for a few turns. Thank you. And wow, somehow Anya survived. That's pretty convenient because we get her the heck. Yeah. And I don't know why I brought Aaron in, but <laughs> that was fucking stupid of me. Why did I do that? I was like, oh yeah, let's let's get an S craft off because he's only got two turns of his buff left. You know, there's a chance he'll dodge something. 
Fuck it. If he attacks Fan again, but without draining his CP. Never mind, he's just gonna drain his CP again. Not helpful. Has he seriously gone for that attack three times in a row? That also drains HP, but it doesn't really matter that much when... How much he has, I mean. <sighs> what the fuck? Um... I just had to play like an absolute pussy here. It would be nice to get Zane up, actually. Fuck it. Got a crit turn with this item. That's pretty good. Boom. And good. Aaron. Wait, he didn't even get hit by that for some reason. She's no, you get in here. She'll be able to dispel his buff if she needs to, which is sick. And also, she's just tanky as hell. Yes, just fucking heal. Like, the only real damage we can do to him without getting a chain is, uh, with the Grendel. I guess that's fine. Actually, maybe that doesn't steal HP. I defend, okay. I want to get Anya's in, honestly. Just so I can heal her to 100 CP. No, oh, fuck it. We need to take risks here. We've got two heals coming, because I'm going to make Fee do it as well. Also, she had a... Uh, regeneration. Regine, as I like to call it. Actually, it's this game that calls it that. Alright, okay, here we go. It is time for the Grendel. Maybe lower his attack here as well. Wait, can I? Nope, I can't because he stole all my damn FP. I mean... Yeah, fuck it. Debating whether or not to S break here. Oh my god. The left hand this time. Cheeson is nearly dead, that's not good. Blaine, you can have a bit of a turn here. A bit of a go of it. Uh, you don't have any. I guess she has this. Fuck it, why not? I need to renew uh, Fee's buff. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Like she's she's at full health. This doesn't, and she's fast. So fuck it. She's no, it's nearly dead. Let me uh do something about that. Actually, I should be able to... Yep. Yeah, fuck you. No turn for you, bitch. And I'm gonna stag your ass. I think he said, uh, like, why do you resist something, something. I know, it's fucking hard. Or, like, the vocal effects and those subtitles. I feel like even if it was in English, it'd be impossible to understand. Oh shit, he didn't stagger from that. It's like she's in a... Oh, God damn it. oh, of oh my gosh, she dodged there. Let's go. That's my fucking girl. No, in that case. I'm gonna build up the gauge a little bit. This will be big damage, especially if I can uh, sneak in a Zerum powder on Van. So he can Grendelize again. Wait, that was so fucking stupid. I've just got two turns of healing. He's going to recover now. Oh, well, at least Van gets another turn there. Okay, yeah, we're not getting, uh, we're not going to be able to Grendel. 
At least Thieves gonna be able to renew her buff there that's pretty hype. Okay, let's go for this. I'm gonna probably use a Zerum capsule on Van anyway. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's an S-Craft coming. Like, either he's gonna buff and heal, or he's gonna S-Craft. Either way, I wanna be stealthed. Okay, he didn't do either. Okay, we're scared with a lane. I don't know if that means we can't use items. I guess it's a good time to test it. Okay, if she can use it, good. And, uh... I guess a lane can be on item duty in that case. And we didn't end up needing to win Shadow. Just fuck it, let's just defend with Shizna then. Okay, that's the debuff one. He has a lot of attacks kept from his uh, first phase. I guess let's just get to work here then. <clears throat> Has he got more resistance to stun now? I feel like that was... Like, even in the display it was saying that this was doing more than 7%, even though I know it lies. Does he actually get more resistance to it? Ten. And sure. At least his, uh, he's still taking as much damage as he always was. 50,000. God damn. Okay, well, we protected Shizna. That's good. And Fee's invisible, so she should make it through this as well. Yeah, I think I prepared pretty well for this. At least he didn't buff up before either. Blaine's gonna die, but I mean, she wasn't. She was feared anyway, so she couldn't really do much. Yeah, the Grendel didn't even take half. That's fucking hype. And you can, uh, I guess, heal Elaine. And you still got another turn of uh, invincibility. Yeah, so. I guess do this. I'm going to get so many gourmet points off the battle. Right, one. And I can I barely don't have enough to do that, even though I would, but Oh, for some reason I got EP back with the Grendel. I don't know when that happened. Boom. Okay, you shouldn't escrow oh my god, that's a lot of damage though. Fuck. Can I just be a cheeky boy in Zeron Powder again? Let's get you out of there. And, uh, yeah, fuck it, yeah, it's Zerum Powder. I'll keep my capsules until I run out of powders. I know Van doesn't need, uh, like, he'll get hit again and he'll be at full. Let's see. Yeah, he hasn't buffed, uh, since he was being a little cheeky boy. And, yeah, honestly, this, this is a lot better because he hasn't been, uh, He hasn't been summoning guys. That honestly makes it a lot less stressful. Iggy crit turn. We'd crit anyway because that's how stealth works. Oh, this craft is ridiculous. What were they thinking? There's still no healing. That's good. I don't like that though. Leave Rosette alone. Yeah, we are fucking doing damage there. One, two, three. Maybe if you're boosted and you go into Grendel mode, that's what makes you have 150,000 instead. Fuck it, we're not gonna stagger, we might as well just go for damage. 
even though that's basically the same thing, I, again, I can't tell what he's saying. Now it's saying it's only going to do 6%, although we, we did somehow manage to get him all the way up to 50% there. Might be possible, I mean, it doesn't really matter. As he starts, like, ultra healing. And... Yeah, 200,000 HP left. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go for a shield with Zane. Even though it's not gonna do much because he has so much, he does so much damage, but... Bro, again, I'm one CP off being able to do the classic combo. But for some reason, it's gonna let me, uh... You know, in that case... Yeah, I don't know why I keep getting EP back. That must be one of the Grendel's abilities, then. Uh-oh. Oh, that's just the shield. Good, I can heal Rosette. And we have a shield. Ah, uh, all cancel, great. Tag van. Bruh. That's fine, actually. Get him, Zane. Your yeah, Rosette's kind of looking a bit bad there. He might die, but it actually doesn't really matter if she does. Pro van. Thank you. Actually, I want to test something. Can you use these on yourself? I think you can. Yeah, it'll still heal you the amount of HP. That's, that's enough. That'll live, whatever. Yeah. Yes, just heal. The best I can do, really. And yeah, I'm, I'm gonna use, uh, even though I know Fee needs to renew her thing. If he S crafted that, that would have been really fucking bad, but. Oh my god, we got nine S boosts. Hmm. Yeah, now I'm back to full, uh... I'm, it says I'm at full fucking, uh... EP now, that's weird. God, I love the Grendel. Dude, we nearly fucking got him, guys. Oh, shit. Okay, that would have been really bad if that hadn't guarded Fee. But it's fine, because you know why. As long as Fee gets her next turn before his. Even if Van goes down here, it doesn't matter. Oh, that was lucky. I did not think he'd go for it so soon after. Oh, you fool. You absolute buffoon. Boom. Boom, boom. Yeah, even if, uh, well, actually, no, if, if Van and Fee both went down, that would have been fucking dreadful. No, Van. Do it. Wait, this isn't going to kill, is it? Oh, never mind. Whoa, I just did kill him. What the fuck? Oh my god, let's go. I'm gonna be so mad if that's a phase three.
終わったみたいだな<笑>とんでもねえ野郎だったが歪みも完全に消えたすごい情報量だったけど綺麗に消滅したみたいね最後はちょっとかわいそうでしたけどええでもこれでよかったんだと思う偽りの存在であり続けるよりは全ては無名の闇に帰るそれも一つの救いの形だろうはいそうなのかもしれませんねおでもエゼル機の写本の方はああそっちは心配ねえよ DG が持ってやがった写本そのものは11年前の総統作戦で回収済みだからなそれも先生の手によってベルガルドさんがそうだったんだええ先ほどの存在はオーギュストとやらが取り込んでいた情報のみなのでしょうこのような形で利用されるのは全くの想定外そして今の戦いで完全に消え失せましたしもう利用されることもないでしょうそうそれなら安心ね<笑>しかしまさかあの作戦のやり残しも込みだったとはなまあ仕方ないでしょうどちらかというとオーギュスト絡みだったようだしリスク管理の観点からも有意義な調査だったと言えるだろう庭園絡みもこれでようやく一区切りかなそうだなこれで俺たちも肩の荷が下りた気がする<笑>よかったねマーリアスイも最後だけとはいえ私も付き合えてよかったかな MK のサービスとはいえ異変も完全に収まったみたいだしそういえばいやーほんまお疲れさんやったな<笑><笑> Oh, yeah, what about our reward? What do we get for this? ひとまずこれにて依頼達成ってとこかうん感謝するでみんなほんまにお疲れ様やった裏解決屋には依頼の報酬と協力者のみんなにも謝礼を振り込ませてもらうでああよろしく頼むぜそれにしても妙な気分ねもうここに来る必要はないだなんていつの間にか習慣づいちゃってたものねこの場所なら遠く離れている方とも顔を合わせて会うことができますからはいこれきりというのは少し寂しいものがありますねまあなガーデンマスターやらエゼルキやらが絡んでなければ確かに悪くねえもんだった動力ネットを通じて人とつながれるその点はメルヘンガルテンの当初の目的通りだったのかもしれないわねおそう言ってくれると嬉しいわみんな忘れとるかもしれんけど本来は魔獣がうろついてる仕様とちゃうねんだから今後はこのバグを修正しつつ元のメルヘンガルテンに戻す大規模アップデートに移るせやけどそれには時間がかかる見込みでなみんなさえよければそれまではいつでもアクセスしてくれてかまへんねじゃあもう少しここで遊べるってことああいくらでもゆっくりしてってやそっかこれでいつでもダラダラできるねやれやれまあ確かに悪くない場所だけどなうんしばらく共和国にはいるけどこういう場所があるのはありがたいかなはい今ならいい訓練になりますしま暇つぶしにはちょうどいいかもな
、フィオやゼロスのテストにもなるしね。<笑>またみんなで集まるとしようか。もちろん、アップデートごとやらにも。ああ、そんじゃ。報酬も兼ねて、とことん楽しませてもらうかね。<笑>決まったぜ。Oh, control is disconnected. Is that it? Is there no?、Uh... Actually, the end. Come on, there's got to be something else. Oh. は整備点検のためタワー展望台は20時に閉鎖しております明日またのお越しをに終わったアラミス学芸祭は、両5日まで開催される予定とのことです。混雑が予想されますので、お越しの場合は、地下鉄など公共交通機関をご利用ください。続きまして、先ほど入った情報によりますと、明日、大統領府から重大発表があるようです。Oh, ですが、ご心配なく、深刻な事件が発生したというわけではありません。詳細は控えさせていただきますが、許可が出ている範囲だけでも予想以上に早かったようですねさすがはクロンカイトい,いえグラムハート閣下の采配ですかヒンゴさん私頑張りますからだからどうか Oh she watching too? That was Dingo's voice, wasn't it? I'm going to go to the next one. 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 Oh shit, here it is. Oh shit, here it is. What? <laughs> ご苦労様でしたリンゴさんそして本当にありがとうこれでなんとかその時に間に合わせられます What? What was Dingo's connection with her? What the hell? To be continued in the final chapter. Oh shit. Thank you for your playing. <laughs> Bruh. That's it.、Oh, that was it. Oh my god. Dude. I don't know. I, I fuck it. Oh, god damn. I don't know, bro. Let's actually visit the hot springs, actually, rather than healing up here. I think that'd be more appropriate. I don't even know, bro. Do I just end it there? I've already given my thoughts on the game. Super fucking excited for the final chapter, but that's going to be in like two years, probably. Because I think, well, the next game is going to be easy.、Uh, 10. Which I am super looking forward to as well, but I don't know, man. I want to fucking. I want to see what happens in this series, bro. Oops. Let's enjoy the hot springs one final time and then we'll end it. Can't believe it, that's the end of the series then. It was nearly 100 videos. I, I think I'm going to make the finale one video. Might as well. Also, one thing I noticed、uh, afterwards 
The main story took 94 videos to beat, which was the exact same number of videos it took to beat uh, Reverie. Except in Reverie, the finale, I split into four parts because it was like four hours long. But, uh, the, but with Kuro, I, I was going to split it into two parts. That was what I was planning, but I just couldn't find a good place to split it. I didn't think it was, it made sense doing it during the final boss. I don't know, so I just made it one video. I think it was fine. Just think of it like a movie. Pretty much was like a movie length video, but yeah. This one's probably going to be pretty long too, because that final boss was hard. Hey, look at that. We can see uh, Nemeth Island. Nemeth Resort from there. So, uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to think of a good way to end this, because it feels awkward when I'm not, when there's no credits or anything. Like, I'm just here, you know? Alright, whatever. That's going to do it for... Van, stop looking at Zane. I know he's very pretty, but still. Alright, so that's going to do it for Let's Translate. Trails at Dawn 2, Crimson Sin. I will see you in about 10 or so months, uh, whatever, for Yeez 10. Or I might be back with something before then, I don't know. But until then, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah.